it doesn't really matter if the case is close to court the the behördes doesn't react upon your lawyer's letters and whatever then you are you are safe but if the case does not go to court but your lawyer still starts working for you then you would have a problem because you still have to pay your lawyer because the thing did not go to court so the pikaha greift nicht like the pikaha doesn't work the protest costing hilfe it doesn't work but if you can afford to pay the lawyer at any point in time whether the case goes to court or it doesn't go to court then please feel free okay hi shanti lines you are most welcome back to the phoebe way if this is your first time this is the Phoebe way my name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany how to make your life in Germany much easier and as tradition demands I'm bringing to you the new laws the legal changes that are going to be relevant from the month of November so just get comfortable and let's get going First on our list this month we have about five major things that are changing in the month of November okay so first of all happy new month welcome to the new month <laughs> great so let's get going number 1 the self determination law is coming into force so the self determination law is the law that allows people who have changed gender so the transgender to change their first names and also their gender so If this applies to you, you might want to look into that and see how you can have your name, your first name changed. So this coming into uh, into force, I actually want to look into this law and see how it would help people who do not want to change just their first names or who do not want to be bound to a certain gender. Apart from that, how does it help the people who does not who do not fit those requirements to change their names to make their lives easier for them? So yes. You might want to look into that. The second thing is for those of you who drive. If you want to change your car insurance to a cheaper insurance from January 2025, your deadline to change is 30th of November 2024. So usually I say this actually every year since I started doing the legal updates, the 30th of November is your deadline for you to look into which insurance company is cheaper for me especially with the half flitch for sicher und kraftfahrzeug half flitch for sicher kfz half flitch for sicher und this is your time to look into that for the drivers or people who own cars and if you want to know where to check you can check on check24.de you can check on verybox.de these two portals are the ones that i use most of the time when i want to switch and i can also tell you this There are certain things that you would have to take your time and read through. For example, do you have a garage? For example, how often do you want to pay the money? Is it once a year? Do you want to pay it monthly? Do you want to pay it um, twice in a year? So every six months. If you choose every six months, for example, so twice in a year, the money goes up a little bit. So the cheapest way is to just pay it once a year. That is usually the most. Uh, cheaper like the cheapest way to do it the most um, appropriate way to save money when it comes to insurances and also changing as well and of course the schadenfreiheit class so the sf so depending on how many years you've been driving without causing an accident or being involved in accidents actually causing the accident that is also relevant when you are trying to change good so that's another thing if you want to change your insurance company Your deadline for this is the 30th of November. So a new system will come into force for those of us with, who are small business owners, so client unternehmer, unternehmer. There's going to be the Wirtschafts Identifikationsnummer. So this is going to be our ID when we are communicating with the Finance Act. So some of you are going to start getting your numbers assigned to you. Do not be, you know, bothered about it or don't be shocked about it there's nothing to it it's just your special id identification number that is going to help finance and you know assess and process things for you much easier so that is one thing that is happening this month of november 2024 also if you don't get it don't worry about it it is not a must for you to include it on your um document or when you are corresponding with with the finance behörde but you also have a great spirit to up to 2026 for this whole thing to settle down and actually permeate through the whole business world and then 
you can you, you, you would have you by then later you should get yours so that is the next thing that is going to start this month that is the Wirtschafts Identifikations Nummer. So this is your Kleinunternehmer und Einzelunternehmer, so people who are self-employed and own business at the same time, who are self-employed and running their own business. So Kleinunternehmer und Einzelunternehmer oder Selbstständige. All right, so if you haven't gotten it yet, don't fret about it. It will take time and the time that you would have to be putting it on your letters to finance times and also um, with other corre corresponding partners would be 2026. Now, I know you've been waiting for me to talk about this. I will talk about it. We are still with the Behörde with the authorities. So, from November, if you have already applied for your Ausweis or for your electronic visa or Aufenthalt, let me not say visa, but your, your electronic residence permit, the documents that come with the electronic resident permit and the Ausweis can now be posted to you. So the, currently the system is, as before this new system, the system is that you go to the Rat House or the Behörde and you, you do the application. Sometimes you can even do it online. You do it and then you get you get your number to be, you get your number that you should use to pick up. That No one gets posted to you. You receive that letter and then you go, you, put, you book an appointment and you go to what? To pick your passport, your Ausweis, your Aufenthalts Karte, whatever, you go pick it up, right? So now you have, you have the electronic or digital Aufenthalts Karte, so that is there. But the documents for you to access your um, digital Aufenthalts Karte will be sent to you per post and also if you renew your Ausweis or you get a new Ausweis or a riser pass or whatever, it can be sent to you per post. If you agree for the post to be sent to you, you'd have to pay the extra fee, the postage fee. So that is the new thing. And I'm just like, <laughs> even before we just asked people to just call us into the office, that took time. Now you want us to trust that you people would put on the extra effort to put this advice in an envelope to frankieren, adresse draufschreiben, like, ich vertraue es nicht, I don't trust the system. Because even as we are here now, 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 <laughs> things are not really smooth. Like, it's, it's not this smooth, like the way you see my thing, it's not smooth. So I am really wondering how this is supposed to go I'm praying for all of us. Um, my my IDs currently I have about eight years to go before they, they expire. So I'm hoping that by the time I have to renew my ID or anything, things would be more friendly. Okay, so yes, that is another thing that I saw and I was like, hey, this all of this in this month. Well, digitalization is supposed to work, and it was just funny that for digitalization, like for the digital electronic Aufenthalts, Often had Karte, they will send the things to you per post. Warum geht das auch nicht digital? Why, why, why can't they send you the Often had Karte, like all the relevant information by, by email or something? That's what I was thinking about. They did not ask me, so they should keep doing what they want to do, because if I had, they had asked me, I would have shared my opinion, but they didn't ask me. So, all right. Now that we have come to the end of the legal update, but one question has been coming to me quite a, a lot, and it is, Stevie, do I need to employ a lawyer or to engage the services of a lawyer because I'm waiting for my Aufenthaltserlaubnis, I'm waiting for my Aufenthaltskarte, I'm waiting for my Reise Pass. It's been months and months and months, it's been more than six months. I can't travel out, I can't start a new job. What should I do? Depending on your financial situation, it could be a win-win situation for you, okay? So what your lawyer would usually do is your lawyer would sue the authorities. And so the, your lawyer would take the matter to the administrative court. And when your lawyer takes the matter to the administrative court, he would also file for PKH, that's protest cost and hilfe. So when he files for protest cost and hilfe, you, should, you wouldn't be the one paying for your lawyer's costs, even if you should lose the case right even if you should lose the case you wouldn't be the one who has to pay so depending on your financial situation it doesn't really matter 
if the case goes to court if the case goes to court and you lose or win it doesn't really matter so what your lawyer would say is he's um filing for an untätigkeitsklage because they are not acting so they are not they are not active so he was he's going to sue that the court should tell them force them to act on your behalf like act for you okay so that is what your lawyer will do so if your financial situation is not that good and you you might lose you might win but the case goes to court because um the the behördist doesn't react upon your lawyer's letters and whatever then you are you are safe but if the case does not go to court but your lawyer still starts working for you then you would have a problem because you still have to pay your lawyer because the thing did not go to court so the pkh greift nicht like the pkh doesn't work the protest cost and hilfe it doesn't work so that is why i say hmm wait a bit wait a bit wait a bit but if you can afford to pay the lawyer at any point in time whether the case goes to court or it doesn't go to court then please feel free okay but most of the time if you don't have that extra 5 to 600 euros for the lawyer to act on your behalf then you might just have to wait and sometimes waiting also helps um because it's just short staffage like they don't have the personnel to take care of the situation okay so that is what i can say to that question and yes we have come to the end of today's video shatty lines for this month i'm so happy for it to to announce to you that i'm going to have some interviews when it comes to the series diary of a black woman in germany yes i started the series and i went to the bin on a break because i moved as you can see my my um my my background has changed environment has changed it's much brighter it's it's giving okay it's giving and you can also see the youtube light over there so if you have not yet subscribed subscribe make sure that we are moving up 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 share this video like this video comment on this video if you don't comment oh yeah comment just say comments <laughs> so comment and let's make sure that the fiddy way gets the visibility that we need to grow okay so please show me some love and yes so this month we will also be talking about how life in germany has affected me personally because november is also going to mark 20 years in germany for me it's been a roller coaster ride it's been lots of highs lots of lows and i have always wanted to share my personal lessons with you guys and i'm going to start this as well this month so please it's a promise please make sure you are tuned in all right thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys okay i've been looking down again <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'll actually see you next Sunday. And yes, I have the interviews hopefully planned with Kelechi. I was on her channel last last month, I believe yes. So I'll 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 be talking with Kelechi, hopefully with Fredaus as well. I was on her channel as well and hopefully we'll be talking with um Niger Girl in Germany, the official Niger Girl in Germany as well. So I haven't spoken to her but I know she will not say no. So yes, thank you so much my Nelib and Shati Lines. Yes. Are you a Shati Line yet? You know, there's a difference between chat, shatsy, and shatsy line. So chat is how to say sweetheart in Jimmy, like honey. And shatsy is like my honey. You know, like this list like my nano say my chu chum chu. And then <laughs> or like it's a glitch will say my shushu. It's shushu. I pay shushu, shushu new queer. But shatsy line is like small shatsy portable shatsy that's why you guys are my shatsy lines my shatsy lines that i put in my handbag my shatsy lines on my phone my shatsy lines with the energy and the vibes okay okay <laughs> okay guys as you can see i'm coming into this new month with lots of positive energy october was a bit rough for me emotionally also with um grief and everything grief processing but november is supposed to bring new tidings positive energy and i wish you all have a blessed november ahead and don't forget your vitamin d's don't forget your vitamins your ginger your uh turmeric and everything please take this seriously because winter depression is not a joke all right i nearly forgot to say of course the Phoebe way is here as your coach and your guidance for life in germany if you have any questions regarding german bureaucracy the bruhaha everything going on Please do not hesitate to reach out to us, www.thebeway.de, email info at thebeway.de, 
and yes we are ready to help and refer you to lawyers that we have seen tried and tested and yes what else yeah we're just we're just here to help you navigate through things and if you have any questions what we usually do is interpreting helping you understand your letters all these things don't worry about that moving to germany legally getting married in denmark everything just go on the website and um check out what we usually do all right okay bis zum nächsten mal tschüssi